Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide for installing Kali Linux in UTM on Mac OS Intel CPU. In this guide, we will walk you through the process of setting up a virtual machine using UTM and installing Kali Linux. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Step 1 Downloading Kali Linux ISO Image Open Safari and search for Kali Linux. The Kali Linux website should be the first result. Click on the link to go to the website. Click on the download. Click on the installer images. Click on the download by 64. The Kali Linux image will be downloaded as an ESO file. Step 2. Download and install UTM from the official website. Go to the UTM website and click on the download button. Once the download is complete, open the UTM installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install the app. Step 3. Launch UTM and create a new virtual machine. In UTM, click on the Create a new virtual machine button and select Virtualize. In the Operating System Type field, select Linux. In the Boot, ISO Image field, click on the Browse button and select the Kali Linux 64 ISO file that you downloaded in the previous step. Click on the Continue button. In the Hardware window, keep the memory to 2 GB and enable Hardware OpenGL acceleration. Click on the Continue button. In the Storage window, keep the size of the drive to 30 GB. Click on the Continue button. Click on the Continue button. Rename to Kali Linux and click Save. In the UTM main window, click on the black play button to start the virtual machine. The Kali Linux installer will start. Select Graphical Install. The installer will ask you to select a language. Choose the language that you are most comfortable with. The installer will ask you to select a location. Choose the location that you are closest to. The installer will ask you to select a keyboard layout. Choose the keyboard layout that matches your keyboard. The installer will ask you to enter a host name. This is the name that will be used to identify your Kali Linux machine on the network. The installer will ask you for the domain name. You can leave this field blank. The installer will ask you for your full name. The installer will ask you to create a user account. Enter a username and password that you will remember. The installer will ask you to choose a partitioning method. The easiest option is to use Guided, use entire disk. The installer will ask you to confirm the installation. Click on the Install button to start the installation process. The installation process may take up to 10 minutes.
After the installation is complete, you will need to shut down the VM. Right click on the VM and select Edit. Scroll down to the Drives section. Find the I drive that is associated with the ISO file. Click on the Delete button. Click on the Save button. Once you have removed the ISO disk boot and deleted the IDE drive, you can start the VM again. Congratulations! You can now enjoy using Kali Linux in UTM Mac OS. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.